so as journalism has evolved, and, and I spent a lot of time in that early part of the internet age thinking about it and doing it, uh, you know, one thing we know is that the supply now is greater than ever, vast supply. We've, a few things that we need are going missing, which is scary, like local news uh, that we can have some reason to believe. But we're working on that, and there are things that, that tell me that we may get this right eventually. Vast, vast supply, but the lines are blurred from what they used to be. So I'll give you a couple of edge cases that we can agree on, that that's journalism. Now, it's not that the Post always is right. They screw up a lot, but they're basically doing journalism. And I think we could agree on that. There might be people in Washington on Pennsylvania Avenue who would challenge that, but I'm going to stick with that, that that's journalism. That's not. Uh, and you know, no comment on the, on, on the content here. Just It's not journalism. Whereas, again, best broadcast news in the world is the BBC, I think, at least certainly English language, and uh, clearly journalism, even though they're not perfect, that they are fabulously good, and this is not. Uh, I want to be really clear. I love the fact that people create media, and I love the fact that Nat and Foxy, some friend of Nat and Foxy's, uh, did a video of their bad dancing and put it up on YouTube and that 50 people or so watched it. I think that's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. It's just not journalism. That's my only point. It gets blurrier in every way when we start thinking about what's happened in the last 20 years with people walking around with tools of media creation in their pockets. This young woman named Nita was shot and killed in the streets of Tehran a decade ago, or maybe a little more, probably by a government sniper, and someone walking by with a video camera that was uh, inside of his telephone took heartbreaking video of her death in the street. And this made its way around the world. Uh, in fact, it later won a very major journalism award, the video. But it was taken by someone who has never, was never a journalist before and hasn't been one since. It was a random act of journalism, <laughs> which we all can do. And increasingly, we should think about what, what we will do when we're in that position. Thank you.